It's Harry here from Screen Arts, from Sydney College of the Arts. In this next video on Premiere Pro, we're going to be looking at editing video and audio within our timeline. So just like I said in the last video, we've got our video layers and our audio layers. Over here, we've got our main tools that we'll be using. We've got our selection tool, our track select forward tool, rip edit tool, razor tool, slip tool, pen tool, hand tool, and our type tool. For editing, you're mostly going to be using the select tool and the razor tool. The razor tool is C and the selection tool is V in terms of our shortcuts. Over on this bar here, this is where you can hone in on, on what you want to be editing to get a really nice close edit. On the panels here, this is where you can extend your audio so you can see your audio files a little bit closer. So let's say I just want to chop this up and edit this a little bit. If I use my C tool, I can click here and cut these two in, in half and I can do it again, do it again and do it again. If I zoom out a little bit, I've created a few different separate video files. Let's say I wanted to layer these video files. I can pull this up and pull this down, move this across in any which way I like. These are the basic functions of editing. Just to reiterate, this is the C and the V tool, the razor tool and the selection tool. So you can probably notice that if I'm cutting up my video file, I also cut up my audio file. This is happening because they're linked. Let's say we wanted to cut up our video file, but we wanted to keep our audio file where it was. If we click on our file, if we right click on our file, we need to press unlink. This will unlink our video file. So when I move around our video file, the audio file stays where it is. You've got to be really careful that if you don't want to mess around your audio files, but you want to change up your video file, you have to unlink your audio. One thing to keep in mind with unlinking your audio file is just to make sure that if you've got people talking in your video, that you don't unsync your audio file with your video file. Now we've learned the basics in editing with our C and our V tool, our razor and our selection tool. Let's go over here and look at our effect controls. Now these are our basic preset effect controls. If we go down to, into the effects tab here, there's an abundance of other effects. And, uh, and we'll get to that a bit later. In our basic effects tool, this is where we can change the position, the scale, the rotation, the anchor point, the anchor flicker filter, and the opacity. If we click on opacity, have a look at our preview file over here. You can see the opacity go down. If our file isn't quite positioned right, we can move it around here. And we can also change the scale. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.